The city of Laurel is known as home of the historic Laurel Park Horse Race Track. This year, the track celebrates its 100th anniversary. To commemorate that milestone, the Laurel Museum has a new exhibit that focuses on those first 100 years. Let's take a look inside. The exhibit's opening brought out race fans and others interested in the track's rich history. Through photos, storyboards, and memorabilia, the exhibit takes a look at the track's past and present struggles and successes. Many people who were and are still associated with the track share stories as they view the exhibit, such as 1983 Preakness winner Don Miller. His father, Don Miller Sr., was also a jockey and raised his family at Laurel Park. Their story is included in the exhibit. Did you always know you you would be a jockey? No, not really. It probably wasn't until I was about 14, 15, somewhere in that range. Um, we'd been helping my dad out the track, and, and I, I, by the way, just going to be like my dad. So he was a jockey, and I figured, no, well, be like my dad. I was small and short, and I could be a jockey. Another jockey, Linda Pancala, who rode for the Millers and retired in 1983, donated several items to the museum for the exhibit. This is your saddle. Now, what else do we see here of yours? Um, I went to Japan in 1982. I, re I rode in the Ladies' Cup. And so I still have the colors. <laughs> what do you think about them doing this exhibit? I think it's great. It was great when they contacted me. I said I wanted in. It's great to, um, you know, pay tribute to, you know, an industry that is a wonderful industry here in the state of Maryland. And a lot of people need to know about the racetrack. Which is what museum director Lindsay Baker says the exhibit is designed to do. Inform people about aspects of the track they may not know, such as that it was a place for entertainment in addition to horse racing. When the, park, when park, the Laurel Park first opened, there was um, a four-county fair, and it was a very large fair with a lot of interesting things like a high-wire act. So we have that in the exhibit. And then there was also a pop festival that happened I think a couple months before Woodstock, they had a lot of the same people that were at Woodstock at Laurel Park, and a lot of people don't know about that. Prominently displayed in the exhibit are photos and items from Laurel Park's Washington International Stakes, which held its inaugural race in 1952. It marked the first time horses were brought to the United States from Europe for a single event, including from the Soviet Union. Through its 42-year history, it attracted celebrities such as Elizabeth Taylor and the late Speaker of the House, Tip O'Neill. There are also photos of the Maryland Million, which showcases Maryland-bred racehorses and the Laurel Futurity, where three Triple Crown horses competed, Secretariat, Affirmed, and Citation. It's just beautiful. They did a beautiful job. Oh, feels right at home. That's Randy Krupp, owner of A.M. Krupp and Sons in Laurel, founded by her grandfather, Adolph Krupp, in the 1920s. It's where well-known jockeys worldwide came to have their boots made, including the jockey of the famed horse Seabiscuit. It's just too bad my dad's not here and my grandfather because I'm sure they could have told a lot of good stories. But nothing was written. The opening also brought out Clark Schaefer, whose great-grandfather, H.G. Bedwell, trained the country's first Triple Crown winner, Sir Barton, and is included in the exhibit. He was on cattle drives from about age 12 on. He sort of lived on a horse. Wow. Um, after that, he, he moved a little. The exhibit also includes storyboards and photos on those who worked in the back stretch as grooms and barn workers and has a small section that focuses on the track's diverse workers, which included women, Latinos, and blacks, such as Avon Thorpe, one of a few black owners at the track. Additionally, the exhibit focuses on the closure the track faced last year after a campaign by its owners to get slot machines at Laurel Park failed. When we were making the exhibit, we didn't even know if racing would be occurring next year or this year. So we tried to incorporate that uncertainty into the exhibit. We wanted people to know that it's been around for 100 years and we think it's a really important part of the community, but we need to realize that it's not always going to be there. There's no definite. Which is why Preakness winner Don Miller thinks the exhibit is so important. Having had an opportunity to, to ride races and spend time in other states, the, the horses that are produced in Maryland are some of the best in the world. And, and, and to allow that, whether intentionally or non-intentionally, to, to fade away is, is very, very uh, sad. And, I, and I'm hopeful that you know, exhibits like this will help bring exposure to the industry to, to hopefully tell the people that, or help the people that run our state that they need to do more to, to make sure this industry survives. I'm Gwendolyn Glenn for LaurelLeader.com.